The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the participants and do not reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. BronxNet. Your voice, your views, your vision. And straight ahead on Perspectives, front and center, gospel music going center stage. We're talking about the McDonald's Gospel Fest. Stay tuned. That's coming up next here on Perspectives. Relevant to life, you bring it to the table. Whether you make your move solo or a movement with a stable. No fables, you speak on your decisions. Cause in the long run, it's your voice, your views, your vision. Keeping it real with many messages for you to know. This ain't radio, but DJ runs the show. Entertainment, he rocks it. Politics, he locks it. The host with the most would handle any topic. Don't forget to share your perspective which shines a light. Cause it might make a difference in someone else's life. What's your perspective? And hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Perspectives. I am Darren Hyman. We're glad to have you. Now, as always, we encourage you to stay active with our show. What you can do is hit us up on our social networking sites. Of course, you can get us on Facebook, and then you can also hit us up on Twitter. There you'll be able to find out about what's coming on the show, some past episodes of the show, and we'll keep you well-informed as to who is sharing their perspectives. Straight ahead on this edition of Perspectives, we're talking about McDonald's Gospel Fest 2013. When you talk the month of May, that's Gospel Fest. And guess what? All you've got to do is tra uh, travel, I should say, to the Prudential Center out in Newark, New Jersey, and you'll find some of the gospel greats, some of the gospel legends. But most of all, you'll find gospel artists from across this wonderful tri-state area, amateurs, people who are making a difference and making their voice heard. Joining us here is Curtis Farrow, the director of McDonald's Gospel Fest, the man hey. who puts it on every year. And yes, Curtis, I'm here. You're here again, baby. <laughs> What's up, Dan? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. Good How to are have you? you. Good to have it's you. such a blessing to be here. Oh, we're glad Very to have you. Very excited to be here. Good. Got to be excited about this year, too. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, it's a historical year. Mm -hmm. It's the 30 years of McDonald's Gospel Fest. 30 years ago, a group of black McDonald owner operators decided they wanted to give back to the community. And they sat in the room and they came up with this great idea of, hey, you know what? Let's allow people who have gifts within the church be able to expose those gifts outside the church. So they gave them the opportunity to be at Radio City Music Hall, to be at Madison Square Garden, to be at the Barclays Center, you know, to be at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. And then, of course, now we're at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So we're very excited. So 30 years down the line, you started with 30 just, a, years. just a handful of people. Now you've yeah. moved on to this major production. It's amazing. It's international. We have a choir coming from Japan. We have mm. a choir coming from, um, from Canada. They come from all over. We have dance groups coming from L.A. They come from across the world. It is amazing how the good news, which is what gospel is, it spreads very quickly. When you talk about gospel music, yes. you talked about Japan. You talked yes. about, and, it, and, it, and it's spread internationally. Yes. Talk about the rise of gospel music and what, it's, what it means to society. And, well, and you know, the, the great thing is that gospel is the only genre of music Music where there really is no one hit wonder mm -hmm. you know it's a different thing we you know I keep telling people you know pop rock soul those musics are about listening mm -hmm. it's about the ear but gospel is about a feeling it's about a love it's about you know a love for for Jesus mm -hmm. you know and so within that music it's a whole different ball game you can have something that was recorded 20 years ago can become a gospel hit tomorrow you know unlike any other type of music so it's a little different when you look at the other types of music than when you look at gospel and it's amazing that gospel keeps growing and growing and growing and growing I mean I have a choir from Italy that wants to come next year there's a mm. choir from London that wants to come next year and the choir from Italy believe it or not it's all Italians um, they speak Italian but they are like the number one gospel choir outside of the US of course the best choirs are here in the U.S. for obvious reasons. This is music that belongs to us. 
But that choir, they are phenomenal, mm -hmm. phenomenal. And I mean, they, they do every type of music you can think of. So gospel keeps growing and growing and growing, but I think it's because it is a music of feeling. Mm -hmm. The gospel fest has this particular fusion. You have these amateurs who, you yes. know, pretty much are not on that professional level, but then yet correct. still they want you, to be right, and <laughs> and then they have the opportunity to see they do artists they do. who are and on that professional level, and this year a major lineup. Oh my God, this year the lineup is incredible, and you know we we wanted to do something that would make history. It's thirty years, so we called it thirty years. Our theme is thirty years of God's amazing grace mm. because it is His grace. The reason we got to the 30 years, of course. And we wanted to do something that was historical. So we said, okay, let's get Bishop Jakes. So we got Bishop T.D. Jakes. So he's gonna give a 45 minute word and I don't have to tell you, he's really going to lay it on. And he's so excited. We've heard from him so much. Then we did our, our staples, Donnie McClurk and Hezekiah Walker. They always bring the house down. And then from the National McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Tour, we're bringing in Smokey Norfolk, Lecrae, Lecrae won the Grammy. Right. He hits that young demographic, you know, he's hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, John P. Key, which is just old school, straight ahead gospel music. So then we looked at the lineup and we were like, wait a minute, we need to do something that's big and major. So I know in 2005, I went to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, and I said, would you come and do a gospel concert for us and, and be a part of McDonald's Gospel Fest? And when she said yes, people called me from all over the world going like, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. Because it was the first time that she had did that since her hit gospel albums when she was a young 14 and 15 year old. And so I decided, I was like, you know what? Let's try it again. I called Aretha. She said yes immediately. She is so excited. I just got an email from her last night. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, she goes, I'm getting ready, baby boy. That means she's coming for <laughs> us. <laughs> that's right. Yes. That's right. And, you know, and that's what I tell people. I said, you know, her respect, think, all of that is that's that's Aretha. Mm -hmm. There's nobody more soulful than her. But if you really want to see her at her very, very, very best, come and check her out. Do, check her out doing gospel music. You know, she you know, of course, she'd see L. Franklin, who was her father. Right. You know, I mean, she's from out of the church and she is going to come for us. Wow. It's going to be an amazing night and it's going to be history making. I had the opportunity to be there last year and thank you for yes. the invitation and yes. uh, to, to really sit there at the Prudential Center and mm -hmm. to be able to see. I mean, I don't to think see, it was an empty seat right, in the to house. see all 18,000 people. They get more I, than the, the next one get. I'm sorry <laughs> to say it back in the no, day. Yeah, it's right. true. <laughs> it's true. But, but it's still, it's a blessing. You know, and even ticket sales right now, like those folks who want to get tickets, they need to call right away. Mm -hmm. um, I would call 877-771-7772 or just go to Ticketmaster. I think there may be 400 or 500 tickets left wow. out of the 18,000. So we're excited. It's going to be a great celebration. So you're looking forward to it. Yes. We want you to make sure that if you want to get a part, be a part of this, guess what? All you got to do is get the ticket master, get to that number that's listed, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to see it. There you see 30 years of McDonald Gos McDonald's Gospel Fest. You see the staples right there on the flyer. Mm -hmm. Bishop T.D. Jakes, yes. the Queen uh, Aretha so. Franklin will be there. Has yes. Bishop Hezekiah Walker, uh, Donnie McClurkin, Smokey Nurful, LaCree, and John P. Key, Gospel Fest 2013 at the Prudential Center. Got to take a quick break. When we return, we're going to talk about some local talent we've got here. We'll introduce you to them when we return right here on Perspective. Guy comes up with that. 
hitting 342 with 92 RBIs and 36 home runs. Chill raw and prepared foods promptly. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. There is also a very attractive extended warranty option that includes free service and parts for the next five years. But there's no need for you to get that. You failed to get the test you needed at the doctor that would have detected disease early enough where it could have been treated. So you won't be around in two years to see him grow up, which means the warranty would be useless. Okay, sign here, please. For a list of tests every man should have, go to AHRQ.gov. Hands can do incredible things. Now they can even help save a life with hands-only CPR. If you see an adult suddenly collapse, just call 911, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Learn more at handsonlycpr.org. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV, love you. JK. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. What'd you dream about? Something I did. Are you on your way to the mall? I'm lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. We're back here on Perspectives, and we're talking McDonald's Gospel Fest 2013 taking place at the Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. And guess what? It'll be May the 11th, and that's a Saturday, yes? So you still have time to go out there and get those tickets, and you'll be able to see some of the gospel greats. Now, when you talk about gospel greats, guess what? It's not just talking about the John P. Keys or the Bishop T.D. Jakes, but really, for all of those persons, they got their start right in the church. And as part of McDonald's Gospel Fest, you'll see amateurs who are actually out there performing and going for their gospel best. And we're pleased to have one who is here with us right now, and it's Davey Velez. He's from the Bronx, and uh, good to have you here with us. And, uh, on, no problem. You're Great the Holy Rosary Church here in the borough of the Bronx. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So you've been singing for a minute? No, I'm a comedian. Oh, comedian. okay. Yeah, I've been a com comedian for about 15, 17 years. You've been singing for a minute? Sing it, huh? No, not really. I'm not that good of it. You're not, you're not a singer I at all. I can lip sync. I was trying I to give you a chance to give me a joke about singing, <laughs> but you, did, you missed I, it. I, I never had any. I never had any skills when it came to singing whatsoever. In the shower, I'm all right. Maybe just a tad. Just, just a little bit. So, by, so by myself with nobody else in the house that I could hear. The cats scream a little bit, but that's about it. But that comedy thing, what, what, what's up with that? Well, comedy I've been doing for about 15 years. I got, um, I've been on um, Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes. I've been on uh, BET, Comedy Central. I was also the only comedian ever to produce a comedy show in a major league stadium. I did it here in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium in the Yankee Steakhouse for a full year. And I got a TV show pilot coming out now with me and uh, you know, a comedian named Talent. Yes. Yeah, me and Talent, we got our own TV show coming out. It's called the Black Tino Comedy Jam. Features like the top Latin and black comedians from Comedy Central, HBO, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I produce them at different areas as well, too. You know, I've been doing it for a while. Been doing it for a while. And so you've been around the borough, yeah. been around the city, been doing been doing your thing. Yeah. Now yeah. you're here at Perspectives. Yeah, and, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. No, I appreciate listen, it. listen, we want to give you a chance to do your thing for us here. So, uh, of course, of course. Uh, so, you know, give us an opportunity to just see a little bit of you up close and personal. Yeah, well, you can see me a little bit here, but then also make sure you guys come out to the McDonald's Gospel Fest on the 11th. Like, I, I can't wait. I want I'm dying to see Aretha Franklin. I do, can't wait to like see her. Do you like Aretha? Oh, since I was a kid. She's, she's, all, she's the queen. She's That's the queen. right. She's yeah. all ultimate to see her. Yes. You know, but it's going to be an amazing, amazing night. And, you know, I've been with McDonald's since I was a kid, mm. you know, just eating there, not working with them. But now I get to perform with them. That's <laughs> it. That's yeah, it. They're the cause of uh, my... 
you know, girl is figure. There you go. But, uh, <laughs> so you're going to do a little comedy at the Gospel Fest? Of course, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, they picked uh, four of us, and I know they saw a whole bunch of us, and I was luckily to be one of the finalists, got picked for the contest, and I can't wait. I've been looking forward to it. Everybody's coming out to see me. Well, that's you know, it's good. Gonna be, it's going to be real fun. We're going to look forward to it. So definitely, listen, definitely. I want you to take our Bronx audience and our worldwide so, audience course. to the... Give us a little bit of what you got. All right, Mr. all right. David Velez, right. I'm, ste I'm, I'm stepping off. He's going to step off. I'm going to step off. I'm gonna ste you're going to step you off, go, I'm going to stand up. You gonna stand up and I'll step off. Okay, I'll step off, I'll stand up. See the few. All right, buddy, Please. all right. How is everybody doing? How's everybody doing? All, all, give it up for the huge studio audience of two people. Come on, clap. Show me some energy in here. I need some energy. I need some feedback here at BronxNet. You know, and thank you guys for bringing the McDonald's Gospel Fest out and bringing me out here. You know, this is amazing. I am from the Bronx. We got Bronx people in the house, Bronx people. That's what I'm talking about. And, and I know we all love gospel music, but I love gospel music, but I also like merengue. Anybody here like merengue music? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Everybody likes merengue. You know why? Because it's the only Latin music that anybody could dance to. All you guys do is this. That's all you got to do. You know, you want to mess a little bit, freak a little bit, go a little forward, go a little back. That's all you got to do. But when it comes to merengue, you guys know, ain't no plot in a merengue song. Right, Darren? Nope. Ain't no story in a merengue song. You know, case in point, a song that made millions of dollars. A baile de a beeper. A baile de a beeper. The dance of the beeper made millions of dollars. Like, that's all they got to do. Anybody can make a hit merengue song. You don't have to even be Latino to make a hit merengue song. Darren, you can make your own hit merengue song in front of your whole staff and studio audience. All you need is something instantaneously to happen. You could drop a chord on the floor, it'll be a brand new hit. La Cora, ha, ha, La Cora, it fell down, it fell down, La Cora, ha, ha, La Cora, where'd it go? I don't know, La Cora, ha, ha, La Cora. Who took the quarter? Maria took the quarter. La Cora, se fue. La Cora, se fue. La Cora, se fue. Where'd it go? I don't know. She took it. La Cora. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, I love merengue music, but I don't understand what they're saying in the songs. Because I actually went to summer school for Spanish, Darren. You know how embarrassing that is, being Puerto Rican? and going to summer school for Spanish here in the Bronx. I'm the only Puerto Rican kid in the class. You know, everybody's all different nationalities. Everybody cheated off of me the first test. Everybody failed. <laughs> They're like, yo, son, what happened? I'm like, obviously, I don't know it if I'm here. Seriously, dude, <laughs> like, what is going on? You know, and I grew up over here in the Bronx, you know, with my, with my family, you know, God bless them, they're still together, and as well as my grandmother. You know, and I love my grandmother, 85 years old, still cooking. Give it up for my grandmother, everybody. Clap for my grandma. That's my abuela. I love her. You know what I mean? But she's been bugging out a little bit, you know, because which of course she's like, my sister, you know, I love her to death. My sister just got married. Give it up. She just got married. Clap, clap. I'm happy for that. But the crazy thing is my grandmother's bugging out because my sister married a black guy. You know, and I love him to death. He just came back from Iraq. Give it up for the armed forces. My brother-in-law just came back. He's my, you know, he's my best friend in the world. He treats my sister good. That's the most important thing. But the best part about the situation is I never had a brother. And I always wanted a brother. Now I finally got a brother who's a brother. You know, <laughs> it's great. I, I love chicken now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it doesn't even need adobo. There's other ways to cook it. I had no idea. <laughs> But my grandmother's bugging out. She's like, Damien, you see what your sister went and did? She's Puerto Rican. She married the black guy. Now your niece and nephew gonna be Dominican. That's it. <laughs> Merengue all over the house. I don't, now I have to learn how to do braids. I don't know how to do braids. <laughs> you know, and I love my grandmother. Like I said, 85 years old, still cooking. Still cooking like a champ. I love her food. Every time she calls, I'm there in two seconds. But I'm a comedian. I mess with her. I play jokes on her sometimes. You know, like she's old school. She got the Santa Maria candles in the house. You know, she puts grapes in front of the candles. I eat the grapes, put raisins there. She's like, oh, my God, look what happened. I'm like, she don't realize I'm messing with her and everything. But I actually played a joke of her last week, and it backfired on me. Darren, you know the Dollar Tree store? You ever see them fake lotto scratch-off tickets that they have in the Dollar Tree stores? Well, my grandmother is addicted to lotto scratch-offs. So my uncle's at the house one day. I bring a real one for me a real one for my uncle, and a fake scratch-off for my grandmother. So me and my uncle both do our ticket, we lose. My grandmother does her ticket, and she's like, I don't understand what happened here. I'm like, Grandma, what does it say? What does it say? What does it say? I, I tell you what it says. It says, if I match the three, I win the three. I'm like, well, Grandma, what three do you have? It says 10,000. One dollar, ten thousand, 
E1 dollar and another 10,000. I'm like, Grandma, you won 10 grand. No, I didn't. I'm like, Grandma, you won $10,000. My uncle jumped up right away, grabbed the ticket. He's like, oh, Ma, we won $10,000. She's like, wait a minute, who is we? What are you talking about? He gave you a ticket. You lose, loser. Okay. But David, you're telling me with this ticket, I won $10,000? I'm like, Grandma, you won ten grand. I won ten grand. i am like, Grandma, you won. She goes, hi, huh, you keep it. You're a comedian. You don't make no money. It's okay. I'm like, Grandma, it's a... It's for you. I got the ticket for you. I 85. I beat that next week. It's okay. You keep the ticket. I'm like, Abuela, it's a fake ticket. I know. You're a comedian. You want to give me $10,000? You don't got no money. Get out of my face. You hungry? You want to eat something? I was like, wow. She yelled at me and fed me in the same sentence. That's why it makes her the best. And make sure you guys come out to the McDonald's Gospel Fest. I'm Davian Velez. May 11th. Make sure you come and support. Davian Velez. Darren, thank you for having me, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, glad to have you. So you're going to be at the McDonald's Gospel Fest. Yes. Are you excited about being out there? I'm very excited to be at the Prudential Center. You know, to be, last time I was there was when the Nets were over there. So I can't wait to go back and to be able I to I guarantee you there'll the be more like people this. at the Prudential Center for Gospel Fest than there are for the Nets. Of course. I'm a Knicks fan. That's what we're doing. That's Round what two. we're doing. <laughs> Round, Round two. two. Round That's two. It. <laughs> sweep up. Well, we can't sweep That's them, but, you know, we're moving on. Yeah, That's yeah. We're going we, to we, we knock them. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> why don't you stay with us? There's a little bit more perspectives left. We're going to introduce you to a very special young lady. She's going to share her gifts with us, and then we will wrap up the show. So stay with us. A little bit more perspectives coming up right after this. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. Uh, Mom, I'm not going to go to college. What are you saying? You've got to go to college. Well, they offered me a job and... Son, college is much more important. No. Yes. No, Mom. Yes. Anyways, it's my decision. Okay, well then decide what degree you're going to get because you will go to college. Their tomorrow depends on your words today. The Hispanic Scholarship Fund has the information you need to help your kids go to college. Movement. Along with weight loss, it's one of the many ways to fight osteoarthritis pain. For more information on managing pain, go to fightarthritispain.org. Everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Did you find the flashlight and the batteries? Yes. Did you make sure we're not missing anything in the first aid kit? Yep. Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV, love you. JK. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. What'd you dream of? Something I did. Are you on your way to the mall? Only nude pics. Send me some. Text me. There is also a very attractive extended warranty option that includes free service and parts for the next five years. But there's no need for you to get that. 
You failed to get the test you needed at the doctor that would have detected disease early enough where it could have been treated. So you won't be around in two years to see him grow up, which means the warranty would be useless. Okay, sign here, please. For a list of tests every man should have, go to ahrq.gov. You know, girls, I used to cheer back in my day. Ready? Okay! Go team! That was amazing. 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 Mom, that was amazing. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. Megan, you're a tramp. Ryan Fitch told me you guys made out. Everybody knows. He says you're your most desperate girl he knows, besides your mom. How many boyfriends does she have anyway? Lots? That zit is huge. Zit face. Ugly. And welcome back to Perspectives. Darren Hybe here with you. We're talking about McDonald's Gospel Fest 2013 taking place May 11th at the Prudential Center. You don't want to miss it. A lot of local talent's going to be there, and we've got a very special young lady here, who is here with us right now, Nadia Torres. Nadia, so you will be performing at the Prudential Center? Yes. How do you feel, first of all, about being on the big stage coming from the Bronx? I am so excited, but I'm so blessed, ultimately, because I really thank God for this opportunity. There's thousands of people who audition in different like areas, and I'm just so grateful to so, be on the stage. So how long have you been dancing? Actually, I've been dancing since I was two and a half years old. Okay. So I'm 28 now, so if you do the math, maybe about 25, 26 years or so. And it's paying off because you're making it to the Prudential Center, going to be on the same stage with a lot of the gospel greats? Yes, yes. How does that feel like for you? Oh, I am so excited. Donnie McClurkin, I went to the McDonald's Gospel Fest a couple of years back, and he just blessed, like, the roof off the place. Lecrae is going to be there this year, so I'm really excited to see him perform, too. Well, what we're going to do is going to take the time to watch Nadia as she gives us her dance performance. Nadia Torres from the Bronx, she'll be performing. Let's take a look at Nadia. I'll take the mic. And you do the rest. Thank you. All righty. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I finally realized that I need you in my life. 